Milka cookies or Cadbury cookies? That's the question, isn't it? Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Wow, we're here to eat sweets again, if you can believe it. Before we get started, I know that some people are gonna be so mad at me. So I just, look, I just wanna put this out there. I made a tweet about the, uh, the cookies, quote unquote, that I'm gonna be trying today. And then all these people from the EU were like, hey, idiot person, that's not actually a cookie. And, um, Technically, it's something called a Jaffa cake. Um, so I would like to apologize to anybody that I offend during the making of this video. I praise your almighty ruler Jaffa, and I will never offend the Jaffa cake again. You know, until after this video. So as usual, I'm gonna be showing you each box of cookies that I have today. And then after that, we're gonna be trying them one by one. So I found a lot of the Milka cookies, but I can only find two of the Cadbury cookies. I also found this kind of like a shortcake snack. So I don't know if this is technically a cookie, but it says shortcake and you know what? That's cookie enough for me. It counts. I'm getting ready. I'm preparing myself. I'm ready to eat all the sugar. Oh my God, this is so hard. How, do I, how am I gonna do it? Since we have less of them, I'm gonna be showing you the Cadbury cookies first. So the first one is this a Cadbury Crunchy Melts which has a chocolate center. It's a crunchy filled cookie, it says. It kind of looks like a chocolate chip cookie, but with like chocolate in the middle as well. That's gonna be so good. I love chocolate, so I expect to really like this one. It even says that it's even better warm. So I don't think that any of the others have this label. So maybe I'll try this one last and we can actually put it in the microwave. This is the Cadbury Crunchy Melts as well. I guess that's what this cookie brand is called. And this one's Oreo Cream. Just from what we've seen so far, I think this one might be my favorite. Oh, I love Oreos and this just looks insane. And of course, like you've already seen, we have these kind of like cookie bars. They're uh, snack shortcake bars from Cadbury. This one is kind of, I'm gonna consider this one a bonus because I'm not really sure if this is actually technically a cookie even though it says shortcake. I think my version of shortcake and the Cadbury version might be a little different. Sorry for hitting the mic. <laughs> okay, and now on to the Milka cookies. The first up is this chocolate wafer cookie. If you've seen any of my videos, you know that this is probably the one that I'm gonna be super excited about. I mean, the Oreo one looked good, but this one looks like one that I would try to eat the whole pack of. I, I love chocolate and wafer, and I hope that this cookie is the one that finally impresses me. Please, Milka, this is your last chance, please. And one that's pretty similar to it is the Choco Moo, which is basically the same thing except it doesn't have chocolate on both sides it's just on the outside and shaped like a cow a cow it's shaped like a cow oh i'm so excited to try this look at this guy look at him and now we're getting into jaffa cake territory ah i'm sorry I'm sorry if it's not a cookie. The first one is a chocolate flavored mousse. You know, maybe once I actually try these, I will respect the Jaffa. Does that sound fair? I'll try them and then the respect will come. This one looks really good. I don't know if I'm gonna enjoy it as much as the wafer ones or even the Oreo one, but it does look like it's gonna be really yummy. Here we have the orange jelly Jaffa cake. So they're called Choco Jaffa. So I'm guessing they all have chocolate and they all have some kind of filling. This one has orange filling, orange jelly filling. Um, I'm not typically a big fan of orange flavored things. I know some people really love it, but for me, I always think it's okay. It kind of reminds me of something that like you would be eating in a retirement home. <laughs> it's okay, it's just not my kind of flavor. But who knows, maybe it'll surprise me. And last but not least, we have the uh, Choco Jaffa raspberry jelly. <laughs> Ooh, yes. This one I bet is gonna be a sleeper. This is gonna be one that I'm like, it's gonna be okay. But then I try it and my life has changed for the better. That's what I'm expecting from this one. All right, and that's all of them. Now we're gonna be doing a little taste test and let's see, what's the best way to go about this? Okay, so I'm gonna try all of the Milka cookies. I'm gonna rate them on a scale of one to 10. And then since we have fewer of them, I'm gonna try the Milka, Cadbury, I mean, and I'm gonna see what their ratings are in comparison to it. And if they end up higher, I'm gonna say that Cadbury cookies beat Milka cookies. <laughs> My initial thoughts, who do I think is gonna win? Oh, 
That's a tough one. I know that these two are most likely to be my favorites. This Oreo one just looks so good. I really want to say out of all of them, this one might be my favorite. I guess we'll see. We'll have to try them to see, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna put these in some semblance of an order here. Perfect. Looks good to me. All right, let's do this. Okay, first off, we're starting with the chocolate moo. And of course, like I said, this is a Milka cookie. Oh, okay. So it comes in this little cookie box like this. I'm just gonna rip into this and hope I don't pour them all over my carpet. All right, here we go. So my first impression, some of the cows have left the pen. <laughs> Oh, they smell really good. They smell like your classic biscuit cookie. I don't know, there's something about the way that this cookie is toasted that makes it look really good. Even better than most cookies like this. But I guess we'll just have to try it for ourselves. Here we go. Oh my God, that is so good. Like I said, this shortbread part is surprisingly toasty, a really good toasty. It almost makes it taste homemade. And the chocolate is really light. As you see, the layer on it isn't too thick, so it gives a little bit of sweetness without being overtaken. Mm. I wanna eat you for the rest of my life. Mm. Okay, we're starting these out strong because that, that, is, that cookie is a nine. I'm gonna hold off on eating that cookie again because we have so many more to do. But if I was not recording, I would eat all of those right now. I'm not kidding. Next, we have the orange jelly cookie. Jaffa, J Jaffa. The one that I really don't think that I'm gonna be a big fan of, but I'd also love to be surprised. I do like the colors of the packaging. It looks really nice to me, really clean. These bags are really easy to tear into. Always a plus. Oh, I see. I see why people don't want them compared to cookies. They kind of, well, I mean, they look, they look like an actual cookie. Th does this not look like a sugar cookie? And then the back of it is chocolate. I, hmm. Okay, I'm excited to try this. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay, here we go. What? Wait a second, that is so good. Okay, so first of all, this cookie part, cake, Jaffa cake, is so soft. It is really soft. There's not even a crunch. It just melts in your mouth. It is so good. And then this part, the actual jelly part, when I thought jelly, I thought something I was gonna bite into and it was gonna go everywhere. But as you see, this jelly is actually more compressed and it really sticks to the chocolate very well. Hold on, let me show you. See this? Like, look at that. Like, <laughs> Wow. Mm. The orange flavoring is actually really good. If you love orange flavors, this is going to be perfect for you. As I said, I'm not the biggest orange fan, but this kind of makes me want to be an orange fan. It's really good. Mm. And I do see what people are saying about it being a Jaffa cake because the cookie part, as I called it, is much softer than a cookie would be. Almost like the top of a cupcake. It's really good. I rate it, um, I rate it an eight. I think the people who love orange flavors would probably rate that a 10. So you're gonna have to try that one for yourself. Oh, one that I'm really excited about, the chocolate wafer cookie. Oh, I hope this one's good. Me and Milka, you know, we've had some issues when it comes to the wafer cookies. When they had that chocolate bar that had that little biscuit in it, it didn't have as good of a mix of chocolate and biscuit like I was hoping. So I hope that this is where Milka redeems themselves in my eyes. It's circular. What's going on here? <laughs> Hold on a second. I did not expect this. What? They remind me of the chocolate coins. Wow. These are, these are so nice. Oh, I'm so excited to try this. Here it is. All right. We're going to rip into this. This makes me feel like a kid again. Ooh. Oh, this is big. Jesus Christ, it's like a, a cookie lid. <laughs> this looks like a lid to a jar. And you see it says Milka on the side of it. It looks really nice. Okay, here we go, here we go. So I got a little scared. <laughs> Let me just compare. Um, I'm sure it's fine. So this is what it looks like on the box, okay? You see the nice yellowy center? This is what it looks like in real life. Um, it's blue. 
Um, that's just sugar, right? <laughs> What's the expiration date on this? I mean, it tastes fine, right? But sometimes that can be suspicious. Okay, so it's technically still, maybe I should open another. Okay, I'm, I'm t it's in date, it's in date, you see this? Oh God, please, please. <sighs> okay, maybe I'm just a little paranoid. Um, what do you guys think? <laughs> I'm not gonna eat any more of these cause I'm, there's just a weird fuzzy texture to them that I really don't trust. Uh... God damn it, the wafer cookies are cursed. Moving on, next up is the chocolate mousse Jaffa cake. All right, these haven't let me down so far. These, you know, I trust these. Here we go. Here is the packaging. It looks pretty nice, huh? I'm still thinking about that cookie. How much mold did I just ingest? Maybe it was just the cracker. Maybe it was just the wafer. All right, here we go. These little Jaffa cakes are just so delightful. Look at this. This just looks so tasty and cozy. It looks like a cookie you would have at your grandma's house and you would always look forward to them. Okay, I love chocolate. I wanna put that in there. Now let me try it. It's good. I think the, um, I think the fluffiness of the mousse is actually really nice and it's really on point. Perhaps I'm not that big of a fan of mousse, but there's some kind of flavor in it that I don't really like. Uh, the cookie itself is always is really good. Let me just try eating the mousse itself. I think it's okay. I think that it pales in comparison a lot to the orange Jaffa cake. And honestly, I'd probably just rate that one like a four. But I expect this one is gonna be wonderful. So let's try it out. What? Here we go. Also, very nice coloring on the package. Since I like the orange so much, I expect this is gonna be delicious. Ooh, these look so good. I don't know. So I know that they all look the same, but they just, they look so nice. They look like uh, little flying saucers or something. Here we go. Raspberry jelly. That's good. Mmm. Ugh. This jelly is so delicious. It reminds me of something that you would put on toast. It's just so good. And compared with this like muffin top texture and the chocolate over it, it really creates a perfect combination of flavors. Look at that. Yum. Mm. Since I like really sharp flavors, I tend to really like raspberry. So this one I'm gonna say is probably like an eight, just like the orange. I think that they're both really good. And I have to say the jelly inside of them really surprised me. I did not expect them to be that good. Whoop! Next up is something that's probably not even a cookie, the snack. Zzz, that's an S. I don't know, it sounded like something that could be a cookie. And also there really weren't very many Cadbury cookie options, so I really went with what I could get. Oh, here's the, uh, here's the packaging. Yeah, nice. Oh, there's two inside of here. Oh, who knows? I mean, what's the difference between this and the wafer cookies that Cadbury has, huh? What's the difference? Let's give it a shot. Mmm. So this is a lot like the cow cookie. But you know what? It's worse. The chocolate does not taste as good as this one. The biscuit inside of it, not even half as good as this nice crumbly biscuit. You are a shame. You're a scan. You should be ashamed of yourself. The chocolate's melting on my hands. I wanna take another bite of this cookie before rating it just to make sure I'm not imagining how much better it was. Here we go. Oh, no. This one wins 100%. I'm gonna rate the Cadbury one probably a one. <laughs> Yeah, I really didn't like it. Well, this one is just still so high up. It's so good. All right, we only have two more to go. The Oreo cream and then the chocolate center cookie. Oh, these are gonna be so delicious. I can just feel it. This is the one that I predicted would be my favorite and I really hope it doesn't let me down. All right, Cadbury. Let's see what your cookies are all about. Here we go. Oh, so here's the packaging. <laughs> it looks kind of sad, doesn't it? Um, let me just show you 
the Milka packaging versus this. And I mean, it's got chocolate too. Maybe it's not as crumbly. Maybe that's the reason. Maybe that's what's going on here. But uh, this on immediate look does not look as appetizing. But we'll let the taste speak for itself. Here's the cookie. And here we go. That kind of sucked. <laughs> oh, I hate to say that. I really wanted to like Cadbury cookies. I really did. I trusted you. Okay, so let me explain. Like, uh, this is the center. This kind of reminds me of one of the um, the Chips Ahoy cookies that are a little harder, except worse. The, uh, the chocolate chips have a good sweetness to them. The rest of the cookie is really bland, and I mean really weirdly bland for a cookie. You can taste like some of the sugar, but that's about it. It's so chocolatey and you almost can't even taste the chocolate besides the chocolate chips. And then the stuff in the center, it really doesn't do much to assinuate the other flavors. It was weirdly bland, very weirdly bland. And not only that, there's some kind of oil or something uh, that is on this cookie. And when you eat it, it like gets on your lips and you can kind of feel it like a weird film. And it's, it's kind of gross. I. I did not like this. I'm kind of bummed out. I I'm gonna say a 2.5 and that almost feels generous. It, it was okay. Mm. It's not looking good for Cadbury cookies right now. Not in the least. Drum roll. We have one more cookie. The Cadbury chocolate chip cookie. It it has to be hard to mess up a chocolate chip cookie. And because I wanna give the other cookies a fair shot, I'm gonna try this without heating it up first, and then I'm gonna heat it up, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna try two different cookies, two different variations of this cookie. The packaging, I think, looks really good, almost on par with the Milka packaging. And they are just, they are putting everywhere, like, better warm, <laughs> please microwave. I'm wondering if the microwaving it just is almost the cookie trying to compensate for how bad it is on its own. But you know what, I'm not gonna judge it. So, immediate thoughts again. The Cadbury cookies are just kind of ugly. Like I think even Chips Ahoy cookies look better than this. Like maybe they're trying to go for that homemade look, but I feel like there's a way that you can do it that still looks good, right? Or maybe they do it like this so it melts better. I don't know, but it is a very ugly cookie. <laughs> look at this. I feel like I could bake better cookies than this. All right, let's try it like this first. That is weird. What? How do you mess up a... How do you mess up a chocolate chip cookie? I'm gonna assume that maybe these cookies just need to be heated up. So I'm gonna go downstairs. I'm gonna heat up one of these cookies and then I'll give it a shot, a fair chance. I'll just forget that I ever tried it. I don't know about this. Okay, so it said on the packaging to only heat it up for 10 seconds. I did 20 because in the first 10 seconds, it didn't look like it really melted any of the chocolate. Um, here it is at 20 seconds. It's kind of got a melty look to it. Definitely not as extreme as I thought it would be. Okay, here we go. <laughs> The weird oily film is still there, even with this cookie. It's almost worse when you heat it up. The only thing good about it is the chocolate chips, but the cookie itself is so bad. Oh, it's the same texture that's in the other cookie here. Like, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see, can you hear this? That is the saddest cookie breaking sound I have ever heard. The texture of it almost feels like grainy. It doesn't have like that nice baked taste to it. it it really tastes just mass produced and kind of ugh. This cookie disappointed me heavily. I mean, I even put in effort to microwave it, so I'm just gonna say a two, not even a 2.5 like the other one. Cadbury, no, improve your cookies. All right, so my verdict is that Milka is a hundred times better in the cookie department than Cadbury. Cadbury doesn't even taste like they're trying. If you were to give somebody these cookies, they would probably only eat them to be nice. If you were to give them these or even even their actual cookies like these, you know what? I'm gonna say it. I would rather eat the moldy cookie than I would the Cadbury cookie. There it is, there it is. So my personal favorite cookie was the cow cookie, just really good. And I wanna say the runner up is the orange cookie. Really surprising. I actually really liked it even better than the raspberry. So I don't know, what do you think? Have you ever tried a Cadbury cookie and was it as awful as I'm experiencing right now? Cause I would love to know if maybe I just picked up a bad batch, two bad batches. 
let me know. And let me know if there's any more cookie brands that you would want me to try because I love this and I want to do more. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, thank you so much for all the support on these videos. You're amazing and I can't wait until the next one. I wonder what it's going to be about. What's this brand name? I, what is this? I don't know. All right, see you guys next time. Bye.